But first, a young woman killed eight people seriously hurt after a tour bus crashed at the Grand Canyon. Tonight, the ABC 15 investigators have exclusive new video showing the moment it happened more than a year ago. ABC 15 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski continues her reporting tonight, which raises even more questions about what happened. It was without a doubt, I think, the worst day of all of our lives. The date was August 1st, 2023. And all units responding be advised. A morning forever changing the Tershman family on vacation from Maryland. I was just thankful to still be alive. Traffic accident rescue 415 at Grand Canyon West. Exclusive new surveillance video obtained by the ABC 15 investigators shows multiple angles of the moment their tour bus crashed at the Grand Canyon. We were almost there just feet away from the parking lot. The tour guide was speaking to us about what we were going to do when we got off of the bus and all of a sudden. The videos were collected as evidence by the Arizona Department of Public Safety. ABC 15 obtained them through a public records request. The first time we're seeing exactly what led up to the crash and it all happened in less than 10 seconds. I like blocked it out in a way. Watch in the left-hand corner of your screen. That's the tour bus. It's almost to the Grand Canyon when it veers off the road into a ditch. Everything in the bus was kind of falling around. The bus loses control. And everybody was screaming. Before it rolls and slides across the pavement. The impact caused the bus to slam into three parked cars. It didn't seem like we were slowing down. Here's another angle of the crash from the street. It, it, it was a lot. For the first time, we're also seeing the aftermath and how the scene turned to chaos. Walking around that bus crash scene, it was unlike anything I think I've ever experienced. People ran to help and started pulling passengers out of the bus. It was leaning, I assume, against a car. And so we were able to crawl out of that window. Three minutes into the video, you can see the Tershman family as they carried their injured 19-year-old son, Kyan, away from the crash scene. I just remember him looking at me and saying, oh my God, my leg. And I looked at it and, um, and it was bad. The photos of Kyan's injuries are too graphic for television, but his skin was essentially ripped off his leg. They called it road rash. I looked at my leg and it was like open and I saw like the bone. As they waited for medical care, my husband and I think even my daughter, they took off their shirts and just tried to stop the bleeding. When the camera zooms out, you can see how they used their shirts as tourniquets and held Kyan until the ambulance arrived. Kyan was rushed to the hospital in this medical helicopter and is still recovering from his injuries. This is what his leg looks like now. The skin grafts are still healing and the nerve graft is still waiting on the regeneration of the nerve. Landry was, she's our only grandchild. Tragically, Duran Burgard's 20-year-old granddaughter Landry was killed in the crash. Some days are horrible. Some days we can't get off our chair, but we go on. ABC 15 has spent months investigating the tour bus company. American Transportation Systems is based out of Southern California. As we've previously reported, the company has a history of multiple serious violations exceeding federal safety thresholds. You book something like this and you, you're putting your faith into the people that run this business and they didn't hold up their end of the bargain. But our reporting didn't stop there. We fought for five months to get this crash report from the Arizona Department of Safety. The 109-page report came with critical findings. Investigators say the driver admitted to nodding off at the time of the collision, should not have been driving due to being over hours, and the bus should have been out of service because there was a tire not within regulation. Do you think there needs to be accountability? The company being held accountable for what they did. We're also getting our first look at that tire. Newly released photos from the crash show the right axle tire. You can see the poor condition of the tread, even compared to other tires on the bus. The faulty equipment is the matter between life and death. The report says the tread was so bad, steel was showing. There's no confirmation the tire contributed to the crash. But ultimately, crash investigators found the bus and the driver should have never been on the road could have been prevented, but it wasn't.
To this day, the company's tour buses are still on the road, driving passengers. The Federal Safety Administration cited the driver, but no civil penalties were issued. American Transportation Systems declined our request for an on-camera interview, but said in a statement, we will continue to acknowledge and respect all injured persons and their affected family and friends as the process unfolds. Multiple victims, including the Tershman and Burgart families, have filed lawsuits against the bus company in Maricopa County. They are claiming negligence. Our reporting will continue. I'm investigator Jennifer Kovaleski, ABC 15, Arizona.